Good morning, ESM. I'm Avery. And I'm Todd. Afternoons, we'll be giving you the inside scoop about our upcoming ESM day. Six teachers in the Rochester Central School District are on leave after racist and demeaning texts sent about students have come to light. Other teachers have stated that conditions inside the schools are no better, with rampant verbal and physical assaults. Superintendent Myers Small stated behaviors and mindsets that humiliate and devalue our scholars and their families are unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Investigations into the teachers' actions are underway and the district will offer trauma and grief counseling. According to the Gun Violence Archive, which tracks shootings in the United States, there were at least 14 mass shootings in the country over Memorial Day weekend from early Saturday to late Monday. The archive defines a mass shooting as an incident in which four or more people are shot or killed, excluding the shooter. At least nine people were killed with more than 60 injured in shootings, according to the data. A preliminary count found that gun violence itself left at least 156 people dead and 412 injured from Friday afternoon to Tuesday morning. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention seniors, we are invited to the senior breakfast this Friday from 8.15 to 8.45 under the bleachers. This is put on for you by the faculty and staff. Please join our classmates for breakfast pizza, donuts, and muffins. There is no charge for this event. Recording, oh, recorded speeches are due by Thursday, June 2nd at the latest. Record your speech on your device and email it to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org. On Tuesday, June 7th, there will be a brief meeting for students who are taking AP U.S. History next year. The meeting will be held in room B23 after school. Please see Mr. Eschbacher if you have any questions. Are you interested in trying our new, or trying out for the ESM Girls JV or Varsity Soccer Team this upcoming fall? Come to an informational meeting on Wednesday, June 8th at 3.30 p.m. in the high school small gym. Important information will be handed out regarding tryouts and summer opportunities. Now, ESM Day has been a tradition here at the high school for many years. While it's taken a few changes, we figured we'd keep you up to date. Before 2019, ESM Day was a whole day of fun and activities. However, because of a lot of kids were skipping school on ESM Day, it changed the schedule to a half a day. Now, speaking of schedule, Avery, what does the schedule look like for this year? First and foremost, for our fellow seniors, again, we have our senior breakfast, followed by our elementary school walkthroughs. For everyone, we will run a half-day schedule in the morning. Every class you would typically have on Friday would still be taking place just approximately 40 minutes. After we finish our half-day of classes, that's when the fun begins. More on the activities from ESM Day after the weather. humid with some thunderstorms and tomorrow is going to be cloudy with a slight chance of rain. Now on to our seven day forecast. Today we have a high of 80 degrees and a low of 55 degrees. Tomorrow we have a high of 71 degrees and a low of 54 degrees and I'm Paige with your weather. I'm glad to see that the weather's going to be pretty perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Same here. Some of you underclassmen may have heard some rumors over the past couple days about ESM Day not being very fun. Well, Avery and I think it's a fun day because, well, we actually get involved with the activities and don't just walk around. That's why some people probably don't have any fun. ESM Day, as we said earlier in the show, has many activities being offered inside and outside the school. Some activities that are typically outdoor are kickball, chalk drawing, yard games, dodgeball, inflatables, and so much more. For those who prefer to be inside, some activities indoors will be video and board games, and also movies will be playing in the library throughout the day. On the topic of activities, let's see how the athletes are doing this.
on Monday, Arizona Cardinals cornerback Jeff Gardner died in a car accident at the age of 25. The crash occurred around 2.30 in the morning. If any underclassmen who haven't attended ESM Day are not interested in it, well, we highly encourage that you go at least this year and try it out. Get involved and try some fun things that are happening. If you don't like it, you don't ever have to go again, but at least you, at least you can say you tried. True. From Todd and I and everyone here at The Morning Show, we hope you have a great Wednesday.